Today we're gonna talk about whether or not DJI is going to release the Mavic 3, what the potential specs are and even some leaked photos about it. Considering the DJI Mavic Air 2S has been recently released, we would expect DJI not to release any other drones soon. However, the DJI Mavic 3 has been released quite a long while ago and the release of the new DJI Air 2S kind of has it out of the market. So DJI has to come up with something compact like the Mavic 2 series, which is also made for professional level. We're looking at interchangeable cameras, a larger sensor, high resolution and so on. So let's look at some of the new leaked photos and potential specs that this new drone might have. So we've seen that recently DJI has kind of renounced their original Mavic branding, first renaming the Mavic Mini into the DJI Mini 2, which kind of gives us a clue about what the name of the new Mavic 3 will be. It will probably be something like DJI Pro 2. We do not have an official release date yet. However, DJI usually releases drones between August and October, so historically it should be the same time too. However, what year will it be? Me and other drone reviewers predict it will be this year. However, there is a chance that they will postpone it for the next year. They could also just give up on the Mavic 3 series since the Mavic Air 2S is so good right now. Now, let's actually look at some real photos from DJI. We're seeing here that Osita LV on Twitter, which is one of the guys who leaked all of the DJI drones before, is showing some new pictures for what looks like a new patent coming up from DJI regarding a new Mavic drone. The image isn't really high quality. However, as you can see right here, the front propellers and motors are reversed. However, this can be quite a controversial design. That is because the drone won't have that much ground clearance in the front and you'll definitely not be able to hand catch this one. Well, it's not really like we could hand catch the Mavic 3 before because it's too powerful of a drone. But what advantages could such a design have? Well, we can have a look at this other drone called Skydio 2. If you remember, this is one of the best sports drone in the market. And that is because it has sensors all around it and one of the most unique features about it is that the front motors are reversed. That is to make space for these obstacle avoidance sensors on top. They're basically really high resolution cameras that capture everything above the drone and a little bit in front. If it was a standard drone design, then the propellers would have been at the top and the drone wouldn't have been able to avoid obstacles that are on top of it so easily. This is why I think that the new DJI Mavic 3 or DJI 3 will have these reverse props in front. This way it will be able to become the best follow me or tracking drone available today, maybe even beating the Skydio 2 technology. Now let's talk a bit about some potential specs that the new Mavic 3 might have. What about the camera? Well, we also have a unique leak from Drone Excel this time that shows quite a large camera in front. We do have some sources saying that 8K might be the new resolution for the Mavic 3. However, I do not think this is necessarily a smart move coming from DJI, since 8K is pretty much impossible for most computers these days to process. I would say a 6K drone would be enough for most uses. However, you can see the size of the camera here. This looks way bigger than before and, and it kind of looks like a Zenmuse camera already. We know that the Zenmuse X5S does have a micro four thirds sensor, however it is quite a large sensor and I do not think it could fit on such a small frame as the Mavic 3 One. DJI would have to make a really large drone to make this fit. As before, it is mounted on an Inspire 2 and you can see how big it is compared to the drone itself. So I'm expecting the basic camera to still have a 1 inch sensor and maybe a 6K resolution which is a bit better than the Mavic Air 2S. But the trick here is that it will have interchangeable lenses or cameras. So if you want to shoot some landscape like this, you can choose a wider angle lens. But if you want to shoot some weddings maybe or have some closer subjects in frame, then a prime lens would be the best choice. I'm also expecting this drone to have adjustable apertures just like the Mavic 2 had and possibly even included adjustable ND filters, which would save a lot of time in the process of creation. An interesting thing that DJI might want to add is compatibility with the new FPV goggles version 2. We've already seen the new FPV drone from DJI and how awesome it can be. However, by getting a new consumer drone compatible with the same goggles, DJI might make it easier for people to experience the wonders of flight and also get rid of the annoying sun in daylight, just by using the same FPV version 2 goggles from the FPV drone. 
I am also expecting DJI to release a new smart controller, which will probably have a larger screen and bigger resolution so you can see more details. It will also be waterproof entirely and maybe with an increased range. I am actually expecting this to cost quite a lot of money, so it should be optional or in a different package. I did write an article on dronesgator.com about the best professional drones, where I included some of the best ones on the market, including the Mavic 2 Pro, which can fly for 31 minutes. Now it's kind of outdated. For example, the Autel Evo 2 can fly for 40 minutes as we can see here and shoot in 6K or 8K depending on the version you get. I'm expecting the new Mavic 3 to at least get to that level, so we definitely should expect a 40 minute battery life from a slightly bigger drone with a bigger battery and better aerodynamics. I think one of the main selling points of this new drone might actually be the obstacle avoidance. So we will see an actual 360 degree obstacle avoidance technology which compares to that of the Skydio 2, which now reigns supreme in the world of sports, tracking and so on. With the new front facing motors being downwards, it will now have the space for proper sensors to actually cover the entire area around the drone. We've also seen a new metallic cover leaked somewhere on Twitter, which might or might not be user made, however it does have an interesting and different design to it. This could however be the DJI Mini 3 this time, as you can see it is quite small in the hands of a person. More about the DJI Mini 3 leaks in another video. This being said, if you are deciding between the DJI Mavic Air 2S or waiting for the Mavic 3, I would say you should wait for a few more months to see if some more leaks come up, cause this new Mavic 3 might trump every drone we know out there. If you're looking for some of the best drones out there, I recommend you go in the link in the description, because on Dronesgator I have guides on everything from the best drones in 2021, beginner ones, uh, a glossary for beginners, how to build a drone, and so on. These are ranked based on my experience with them or the specs that they have compared to the competition. Next, I suggest you watch one of these videos right here because it might be very interesting for you and don't forget to hit the like button because it will help greatly with the YouTube algorithm and leave a comment down below telling me if you're gonna wait for the new Mavic 3 or just buy the Mavic Air 2S. See you later alligator!